Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Horde Every Night. It is the morning of day four and last night I was able to unlock the forge and actually craft the bellows as well. But in order to craft the forge, I need a little bit more clay soil. So we're going to go grab that right now. And there's a bit of snow out here in the field as well that we want to grab because uh, it needs some water. So here we go. That's getting a snow. Let's get the clay soil first. Then we'll dig up a little bit of snow so we can make some water and not have to worry about that because I haven't found a water source yet on this map. I mean, just south of us, there's the snow biome. And like I said, there's some snow right here that we can grab. So let's do that. Uh, get back up to the grandstands, get the forge crafted and put down. Then I want to grab some wood, do a little bit of more resource mining and shit like that. Then we're going to go uh, do some looting and uh, work on the base and handle the horde tonight. So pretty simple, easy day. Uh, there is a quest line that we could go fulfill, which is what, clear out zombies, I believe, but that's a pretty far ride. And uh, I don't think our base is anywhere near what it should be, so I'm not gonna go on an all day trip just to clear out some zombies for the trader today. Uh, I'd rather just kind of do some more looting around the town that we're in. I mean, shit, we haven't even kind of explored uh, this town that we're in to see how big it is yet. So uh, that would be more of a priority to me than, than going to do the trader quest. And another thing also is we've got a little bit of a meat shortage. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to quote me on that. But yeah, we've got two pieces of raw meat left, which, which isn't going to make us anything. Uh, so we definitely need to do some hunting. I've got two pieces of boiled meat in inventory, so we should be good for the day. But yeah, if we don't go do some hunting, we're going to be running out of food here soon. Oh, I can't even cook this water. We have no wood. I've got no fuel. I think I've got a little bit of coal in inventory, but I don't want to burn that. I only got two pieces anyway. So, all right, let's get this forge put down, and then we'll go grab some wood. Because I want to get a few, you know, shit starting to smelt down in the forge as well before we go out and start looting. Here we go. We don't have much to put in the forge, but we can put some stuff in it. So, yeah, like I said, let's go uh, chop down some trees, get some wood. We'll come back here, we'll get the water cooking, we'll get the forge running, and then we can start our day. Alright, we're gonna get this glass in the forge, so we can make more glass bottles later, and the little bit of iron I have left, we'll go ahead and put in there. Get that thing moving, and let's get out of here. Oh, I also did a little bit of work on the base last night, so I'll show you what we got going on over here. Basically, I knocked the steps out and filled that all in right there. Uh, I wanted to knock this block out, but I didn't have time. It's not a big deal. Uh, and what I want to do is just put steps in right there so the zombies will walk up the steps and be at, like, you know, melee range right there. And uh, we might as well go ahead and... Uh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, shit, I need the concrete. We might as well go ahead and upgrade the concrete blocks that are right there uh, right now. This way they'll be dried and uh, they'll be reinforced concrete later. And I'm not sure what else I want to do for tonight. Probably just put in more spikes and barbed wire. Maybe some bars along the top, we'll see. Alright, that's good for now. Let's go drop off the rest of this concrete. Then we'll get on the bike and we'll cruise around town and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Alright, I can't resist. Let's make a quick stop here. At least grab up all the concrete that's around. We can always come back for the cobblestone, because we have tons of that, but we are running low on the concrete, so... Let's do that, and then we'll clear out this little building here. There should be a couple of gas barrels in there, which we could use. And then we'll keep it moving. Okay, we've got a couple of zombies heading our way. Let's go take care of them, and then we're going to break up a couple of the boulders right here for the resources, mainly the raw iron, so we can throw that in our forge when we get back home. And then we'll finally clear out this little building here, and then keep moving down the road. Alright, let's get in here. We're going to start with the second floor this time. 
This door is open. And they're awake already, so let's go. Back up, dude. Let's see if we can bottleneck them here at the door for a sec. Oh, all right. Let's let them come out. And they're probably going to wake up downstairs, too. That's fine. Just let them break out of there, and we'll deal with all of them out front here. Alright, that should be all of them. Let's get up here now. Oh, just leveled up. That's nice. Oh, we got some more concrete up here. We'll grab that in a second. Some oil. Beautiful. Gasoline. Check the trash. Duct tape. What is that challenge all about? Let's check that out. Uh, here we go. So we gotta read it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, kill zombie cheerleaders. Okay. We'll accept that challenge. Grab this concrete. Now, challenges are a bit different in Alpha 17. It used to be like it would give you a challenge and you it was up to you to kind of go do that. Whether it was like kill a bear and you'd have to just go find a bear and kill it, you know. Whereas in Alpha 17, it actually marks the challenge on the map for you. And you have to go there, accept the challenge. There'll be like an exclamation point. And then in this case, it's kill zombie cheerleaders. So once I go select that exclamation point, you know, probably... 10, 15 zombie cheerleaders will come out of the woodwork and I have to kill them all. And that's just how challenges work uh, in Alpha 17. Not sure if that's going to change at all in Alpha 18. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, don't know if I'll make it to that challenge today. It looks like it's close by, but I'm not going to be w worried too much about, you know, going to kill a bunch of cheerleaders. Ooh, steel. That's nice. Can use that to repair our wrench. Let's just continue working our way down the road here. This is a crazy looking passing gas, dude. This looks like it belongs in the in Ghost Town. I've never seen a passing gas like this before. Grab this gas barrel. Yeah, we gotta check this out here. Whole bunch of manure right there. It says free manure. I imagine that's just clay soil. Some gasoline. We got over here. Anything back here worth taking? Uh Anything else we can search? Just some trash. Okay. Scrap that for the iron. I don't think there's anything of interest over here. I mean, I don't know how much loot there's going to be in here, but it's just a crazy looking place, man. Like I said, I've never seen this passing gas before. Let me throw some stuff into the bicycle. Free up some room in our inventory. Probably should have just turned around and went back to the stadium and dropped some stuff in the storage chest out there before we get too far away from home base, but that's all right. Just drop some shit off in here for now and uh, check this place out. Hello. Here they come. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. What the? What the hell was that? What hit me? For a second, I thought there was a snake on the ground. I have to go back and watch that footage. Oh, shit. I mean, I guess it's possible the zombie in the doorway hit me, but I thought I was way far back. I didn't think she uh, she was going to be able to hit me from that far, from that distance, you know, but whatever. We'll go back and look, see what happened there. I mean, obviously there was no zombies behind me and nothing on the ground, so it had to be just some weird hitbox glitch thing. Come on, dude. Oh, back up. Yeah, I mean, I've been hit by zombies enough times to know, like, how, how close or how far away I need to be to not get hit. But sometimes, you know, shit just uh, doesn't work out in your favor. Let's check these coolers. Nothing. Just some glass bottles, which we will take. They always come in handy because, you know, you want to use them, obviously, to make water, but also to make Molotovs. Wake up, Mo. All right. Let's uh, finish looting the last few things in here before we push on into that room where there's probably another sleeping zombie. Oh, we got one coming through the front door here. Back up, dude. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's nice because we were kind of cornered in here. Uh, all right. Oh, got this uh, cabinet right here. Scrap the can, take the jar. 
Uh oh. Here another zombie. Food and a modifier. Put the modifier in the bat. And we actually had a green modifier on our bat in the previous Horde Every Night series, and everyone was saying it looks like a pickle, which is funny. Beating zombies to death with a giant dill. Alright, we'll take that. Uh, anything up there, you think? Whoa! Okay. Uh, we should probably check up there, see if there's anything uh, hiding up there. There is. There's a gun bag. Definitely do not want to miss this. Here we go. 9mm. With a couple of rounds. Oh! Sleeping zombie in here. Oh, big mama. Dropping down. Didn't even look up and see that. Oh, shit! They're just dropping out of the woodwork here. Some more leather and cloth. We'll take it. And at this point, we probably should head back to the stadium and just drop some stuff off in the storage chest out front because we are just about encumbered and the bike inventory is full. So it looks like we've got uh, a passing, another passing gas down the road and a working stiff tools right there, which I want to go raid that place because we could definitely use a fire axe, so hopefully we can find one there. And then depending on what time it is when we're done with that place, we'll probably just head back home, work on the base, and at some point, too, cruise around on the bike uh, through the woods and shit, see if we can find some deer or pig to kill for the meat. Oh, uh, you know what we'll do? Um, oh, we can't cut through there. We got to go to the end of the fence. We'll take the back way to the working stiff tools because it's all just like open grassland back here. See if we can spot a deer on the way there or uh, bird nests because we can also use some feathers. Well, no deer, but we did find a few eggs, so worst case scenario, if we need to eat tonight, we can always boil, boil some eggs. I'd rather save those for bacon and eggs, obviously, but hey, if we need to eat, we need to eat. Let's go ahead and break some of these windows open here. They're waking up inside, and they're probably waking up on the rooftop also, so let's back up here. Let them all come out. We'll fight them in the front parking lot. Yeah, they're jumping off the roof, and here comes a supply drop. Where's that at? Right down there. Okay, let's fight these guys, and then uh, I will mark that supply drop on the map, just in case we can't get there today. Okay. Now, oh, let's uh, mark this supply drop. It's pretty close by, but, uh, yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff to do today still. So, I'm not sure if we'll get there or not. If, if not, no big deal. We can head there in the morning. Oh, just waiting for me to come in there. Let's kill these two, search the bathroom, and then we got the room here to the right that has all the, you know, the main loot or whatever. There should be like five or so crates back there. Let's see what we can find. And the, the time is looking good, but, you know, I don't want to be rushing. Zombie beating on something here. Might be, uh, might, oh yeah. It's the wall right here. It's probably around the back side of the building trying to get in all right uh, but yeah we need to get back to the base put in the steps put in more spikes barbed wire make sure we haven't forgotten anything else there I mean I know it's only the night four horde but with this game you never know you know I mean one lumberjack ended my last series so if you're not careful any night could be your last night in this game oh damn Ah, oh, there's a guy behind me. He must have come in through the front door. Wasn't even paying attention. Plus, with all these, all the noise these zombies were making, couldn't hear anything. Okay. We got six crates back here. Let's get into them and then get back home. And, uh, shit, I just feel like... We're running behind in so many different areas, you know, uh, in, in hunting. We have no meat. Oh, that's nice, an anvil. We were going to have to craft one of those in the forge. Now we don't have to, so that's sweet. Um, yeah, help, uh, first aid supplies, completely lacking in that. You know, it'd be nice to find a, a poppin' pills around here so we can raid one of those. 
It's just that's the way it is with Horde every night is you're constantly lacking in certain areas because you just don't have enough time to, to do everything that you need to do, you know, because you're constantly rushing to make sure you have some sort of, of uh, defense for the Horde. And even these first few nights, man, like I thought I'd be able to run around, run the, the zombies around in the football field with no problem for the first few nights, but that's not really the case. I feel like the Hordes are already getting quite large for just the first few days, you know what I mean? I don't know what to expect tonight. Last night we had a dog show up and uh, it was the Horde was bigger than I thought. They broke into our base, which I thought was going to be fine. I mean, tonight it's going to be reinforced concrete and, and hopefully we'll have more spikes and barbed wire out there, but... Uh, oh, there's the fire axe. It's only a level one, but I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, you guys know the drill. Horde every night is just, uh, it's just one of those, those, it's that mode that keeps you on your toes constantly, keeps you rushing around, and keeps you kind of lacking in supplies and, and all that, but that's what makes it fun. You know, I like playing like that. I like games where you have very limited ammo, you know, so you're just constantly trying to loot ammo, and, uh, what, what game is like that? Like, Wolfenstein is kind of like that, you know? Uh, they don't make it so you're just... Sometimes you feel like a super soldier in Wolfenstein, but a lot of times you're just like trying to conserve ammo because you never know when you're going to be able to pick up more of it, you know? And I like that feeling, that feeling that you're just kind of scraping by by the skin of your teeth, you know what I mean? And that's kind of what Horde Every Night gives you in terms of gameplay. Okay, I need to make uh, 12 of the flagstone steps and uh, one of these corner steps here. I'm just realizing now that we forgot all the stuff in the bike inventory. I was saying to myself before too, like didn't we grab raw iron? Where the hell is it? So it was in the bike. Let's go put that in the forge. I'm going to make another storage chest too because our inventory is basically full. We'll just throw a second one up for now and I'll get it organized later. Okay, we need to go see if we can do some hunting real quick. We can't spend too much time on this though because I still need to lay down the spikes and and uh, got a few pieces of barbed wire I want to put down we're gonna put a little ramp right here so the zombies broke through here last night so we're just gonna put a ramp on either side oh shit we gotta knock this trash out of the way first and uh, this way we don't have to take the bike all the way around the stadium we can just uh, cruise it right back through here that'll work out so yeah, let's go see if we can find a deer or a pig. Shit, I'll even take a wolf or a bear at this point. But uh, yeah, like I said, we can't spend too much time doing this because we need to get back and finish preparing the base and also gear up for the horde. Ooh, what do we have here? Some stairs leading down. It looks open down there. A little underground cave. Shit, we're going to have to come back and check this out. Definitely don't have time to do it now, though. Well, besides a vulture, I didn't see any animals out there. That kind of sucks, but did pick up a couple of more eggs. So we can go boil some eggs, lay down these spikes, and get geared up. So for these little steps right here, I knocked out the top block and just put a frame in so we can pull that frame up if zombies do break into the base, you know, otherwise they're just going to run right up the steps after me, so at least now we have, uh, we can just get up here and they can't follow, hopefully they can anyway, they'll probably find a way up here just because they're friggin' smarter than I am, um, didn't have time to make wooden bars, but that's fine, these frames will do the trick, because I doubt any cops are going to show up on day four, so... Uh, we'll be fine up here, standing on the frames. Oh shit, I forgot the eggs in the campfire. We gotta go grab them. Our stamina is already pretty low. And the horde is starting. Come on. There we go. 
Let's get back up there. We're fine. You know, it takes the zombies a little bit of time to get up here anyway. Let's jump up here. Pick up that frame, and we're good. And look at this. They're already here. That's okay. We made it back in time. We'll eat some eggs here in a second, but first, let's see if we can get some melee action going on. Hey, where are you going? Sometimes it's like it doesn't matter where you stand. They pick a spot that they want to attack, and they just all go for it. And I guess that's, you know, smart on their point, on their part, because then they just uh, find the weak point, and they break in. So we're going to go ahead and get some fire there real quick. Beautiful. Try not to set ourselves on fire tonight. Yeah, and they're all attacking one block, which is kind of bullshit. They're going to break through that block real fast, but... We do have some concrete on us, so we can repair it as we go. One thing I wanted to do, which I didn't obviously get a chance to do today, is line either the outside of these blocks or the inside of them with concrete plates. I, I, well, I guess we'd have to do flagstone plates. Man, she just hit me right through that fucking window. Um, yeah, if we make flagstone plates and then upgrade them to concrete and we line the outside or the inside of this wall right here with them, that will give us one additional barrier layer, and it, and, and since it's a plate and it's really thin, it won't prevent, oh shit, dude, they broke right through that flagstone block, oh my god, now I'm on fire, <laughs> oh fuck, it goes to zero to your dead real fast in this game, get up here, pull that frame up, oh my god, I don't even remember what I was saying, what the hell was I just talking about, just totally lost track of my thoughts there. I should, I can't believe I forgot to upgrade these flagstone blocks. What a fail. They're already in the base. Can you believe that shit? Um, oh, I was talking about lining the wall with plates. Because that uh, would give us an extra barrier of protection, and it shouldn't prevent us from using the melee weapon because it's a thin little plate or whatever. I'm going to grab, come down here and grab some of these arrows. This can't be the end of the horde, right? Yeah, look at this. I, I should have been upgrading this to concrete and reinforced concrete. And we got more zombies coming. Slow her down a little bit. And if she gets stuck on the spikes. Oh, well, the spikes are gone right there. They're going to come right in for this uh, entrance way. Let's get some fire there. Managed to not set ourselves on fire that time. We can jump up there like that, but I don't think the zombies can. Just make use of this shotgun and the shotgun ammo. There's a dog. Kill the dog. Kill the dog. Alright. He's dead. I don't know. We might be able to use a melee weapon right here. I don't know, but let's see. Oh, there she goes. That's beautiful. Is he going to jump up here? No, he's just going to attack the block, I think. I don't think he's going to be able to jump up here. Let's just whack him off the ledge if we can. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. Oh, come on. Now he is. Alright, well... It's not going to be long before they break this flagstone block right there, but let's just do what we can. Oh, good night. <laughs> there she goes. Yeah, if we could just whack them off the ledge as they jump up here, that would be ideal, right? Then they have to run all the way back around. Come on, fall. Oh, well, he's dead anyway. Come on, dude. Fall down. See ya. <laughs> oh, that's fucking beautiful. Come on up here, man. Step up onto that little block there. Oh, we missed. There he goes. <laughs> See ya. Come on, dude, you're next. See ya. Oh, this is epic right now. Come on up here, buddy. Oh, we missed. Oh, we got him. He didn't fall. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Have a nice trip, buddy. <laughs> oh, there's a dog. Get the shotgun out. Click. Oh, fuck. We got to reload. Oh, shit. They're up here. Oh, they broke that block. Dude, I wasn't even paying attention. I should have been repairing that block that was right there or upgrading it or something instead of just... Letting them continuously attack it. Are we done here? How big is this horde? I thought it was only night four. Oh, damn it. Back up here. Let's use the bow for a little bit. Save that shotgun ammo. In case another dog shows up, or if we really need it. Use a little bit of this 9mm ammo. Got plenty of this. Should just be using the bow right now. Ooh, loot bag paper. Big deal. Holy shit, dude. They just keep coming. Let's see if we could whack them off the edge here real quick before they jump up. No, we can't. Oh, my God. Yeah, those steps. Bad idea. I mean, good idea, but just bad location. Uh, let's jump down. 
And then, uh... Oh, get up here! Oh my god. Maybe we could just run him around in circles like this. You're dead. Another dog. There's another dog. And we're running out of shotgun ammo here. There we go. At least the dog is dead. Should we just jump off here? Probably, right? Maybe they'll fall down into those spikes? Come on. Oh, beautiful. Alright, let's not use the shotgun if we don't have to. We only got seven rounds left in there. Oh, there goes your head, buddy. Alright, is that it? A couple more? Come on, fall into the spikes. There we go. Oh, shit. She got past. Uh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, we're bleeding out. My god, this is not this is not working out for us tonight. Dude. Ooh, something just blew up. Something just blew up. What could that have been? Um, I don't know. A car out front, maybe? Oh my god. Come on. Holy shit, she's like Superwoman. Another dog. It's dead. Alright, let's see if we can get back up by the base and utilize some of the spikes we put down. Come on, run into the spikes. Oh, damn it. I forgot I put barbed wire up against the the blocks right here. Come on, get caught up. Oh, they're running around the spikes. Alright, back down into the grandstands. This is not good. See if we can get some fire working for us. Uh, they're a little spread out, but whatever. Oh, we got three of them. Let's see if we can take out Mo real quick. Alright, I gotta get back up here. Need a little bit of breathing room. Put a frame right there. Okay, jump up. Pick it up. Yes, get caught up on these spikes. No, they're going right for the opening. They're going right for the opening and they're gonna come up this way. Again, what if we put the block right there and upgrade it? This block was keeping them from being able to get up here. Upgrade it as much as we can. There we go. Now let's whack this guy. Yeah, fucking get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Alright. This should be good. There's only a few of them, right? Is this the last three? Oh my god. Oh shit, how did he get up here? Oh dude, bail out. Don't die. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is the craziest night forever. Thank god we didn't just die right there. Because if you don't know, hay bells don't protect you fully from falls anymore. Uh, you can still break a leg or die falling onto a hay bale, depending on, you know, your health and and from how far up you fall. And that was a pretty far drop right there, and we were pretty low on health, but luckily, uh, it didn't hurt us at all. Let's come around here now and see where these last few zombies are at. There was at least two or three left, wasn't there? I don't know why we didn't break out the SMG earlier and just lay these zombies out. I was so concerned with conserving ammo. We almost got ourselves killed. I'm gonna keep eating these eggs. For one, uh, our stamina is still depleted slightly, and two, it's giving us a bit of health back. Let's see if we can squeeze past these spikes here. Um, well, it's pretty quiet. Uh, I don't hear these zombies. I don't know, did they jump down after me? Let's uh, get up on top of the base and have a look. Oh, yeah, there's one. He's caught up on those blocks right there. Let's see if we can take him out with an arrow. Oh, there goes his head. He's dead. Um, did the others fall down? I don't know. You know what? Let's uh, cut up this dog here and, uh, you know, wait up here a moment. See if they come running back up for me. All right, well, maybe they jumped down after me or fell off the roof and died on impact because they're nowhere to be seen. Need some more eggs. Man, we need to do some hunting tomorrow. Seriously. What a crazy night, though. That was a lot of fun. But, uh, holy shit, we almost died. I always have a lot of fun when we almost die. You know, it's when we actually die that sucks. Uh, tomorrow, though, I think we'll go get that supply drop, and then we'll come up here. That's that, uh, uh, the challenge that we found to kill the cheerleaders. So we can do that. That will also, you know, help us open up more of the map and see what this town is all about. And uh, we definitely need to do some more work on the base and tweak that a little bit because it it failed tonight again. But uh, I have some ideas uh, to make it a little bit better and, and we'll keep going, man. And if we have to run and fight for our lives again, that's always a good time. So guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're enjoying this series. Thank you for all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Horde every night and also some more Green Hell and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ooh.